We should have a party for Joanna. Good idea. Last time on Mysterious Island. Where's Gideon? Who's there? I'm writing to you on the occasion of your birthday. Is that you, Barnes? Come. No, sir. Let's you and I have a little chat. <gasps> Clumsy little fool. No birthdays. The island cast away. Attendance. Captain Nemo. Come, son. It's time to go. Oh, Herbert, that's wonderful. You know, in my dreams, he... They're so real. Out. Thank you, Zachary. <clears throat> it's all right. I'll get it. Thank you, Master Jacob. Why have you brought us here? Captain got word that a naval frigate will be passing by here in the next day or two. On its way to New Zealand with a government payroll on board. So there's to be a battle. And the captain decided it would be safer for us to disembark until the danger's over. Is that it? That's what he told the men. But never stood for the truth. I see. Well then, Zachary, what is the truth? Captain's a very superstitious man. He'd never go into battle with women in the ship's company. Very, very bad luck. So you're going to pick us up when the fighting's over? Unless you disembark permanently, you're still considered part of the crew. So you're going to abandon us? Captain says you're bad for the crew. Too many fights. We say the captain's bad for the crew. He'll never know what happened. We'll take him during the fight. Things happen during the heat of battle. And afterwards? What happens to us then? Well, that depends. You will come back for us, won't you? Would be ever so grateful. Captain! Ship! It's our signal. Well, that's the last we'll see of them. They have about as much chance of taking over that ship as I do. I'm becoming Queen of England. <laughs> do you suppose there's anyone else here? Subject, modification of human behavior, engine number one. 
mating rituals. It could have been thunder. No, it had to be a ship. Come on, Gideon. Might have sailed away already. You two go ahead. Take the east track. I'll wait for Joanna. Yes. Herbert and Gideon have taken the east track. I think that's where it came from. Let's go. Did you see that? What? I think there's someone there. Where have you come from? Is there a, a ship? How did you get here? We've been abandoned. What? Who by? But where's the ship? Oh, they've gone. Pirates. They've left us here. Pirates? Are they coming back? No, they've left us here to die. Oh, come along, come along. <laughs> You'll be all right now. You'll be all right. Yes, of course. How foolish of me to let my emotions get the better of me. Oh, I must look simply awful. Um, no. No, not at all. <clears throat> oh, Priscilla. Priscilla, dearest, are you all right? Uh, oh, I think so. Oh. You can let me up now. Oh. Mm. oh. My apologies for such an emotional outburst. We just didn't know what to think. Well, Gideon has that effect on people. Gideon? What a wonderful name. I'm Jane, Jane Morecambe. And this is my traveling companion, Priscilla Hawthorne. Herbert Pencroft. Charmed, I'm sure. There is a ship. I'm afraid not. Your father. Uh, no. Please, let me introduce you. Uh, Jane Morecambe and Priscilla uh, Hawthorne. Captain Cyrus Harding and Joanna Pencroft. What about the ship? Oh, Gideon will tell you all about that later. Is there some way we could go to freshen up, rest? Yes, of course. Oh. This way. Come along.
is your home? Well, I know it's just a cave, but it's safe and quite warm once the fire's stoked up. Uh, yes, it, um, it is primitive, but uh, nevertheless, with a bit of work, I'm sure we can make it pleasant enough. It goes without saying that you're welcome to my sleeping quarters. Oh, how very kind of you. Mm. I'm sure we'll be most comfortable here, won't we, Priscilla? Priscilla. What? Oh, yes, yes. Very. You can help yourself to food when you've settled in. There's pots, pans, some utensils. Well, actually... <laughs> look, I'm terribly sorry, but neither one of us has the slightest idea of how to cook. What? Well, someone's always cooked for us. Well, no bother. Get in and I can prepare something for you. Right? What? Oh! Yes. Yes, of course. How very kind of you, Gideon. Uh, for heaven's sake. Are you all right? We don't know how to cook. Likely story. Is that what's really bothering you? What you mean? Well, it's obvious Herbert has taken a shine to the young lady. What's obvious is that neither of them are young ladies. Did you see the way she was throwing herself at him? She does seem to be overdoing it a little. And the other one's doing exactly the same thing to Gideon. They're a pair of cheap opportunists. But it wouldn't melt in her mouth. <laughs> is that your father? It's ridiculous. Well, thank you. It was simply delicious, wasn't it, Priscilla? Oh, magnificent. Another mango? Another mango. You know what I'd like to do now? What? I'd like to have a look around, take a walk. <gasps> that sounds splendid. Well, it would, um, it would be our pleasure to show you about. Well, what are we waiting for? You seriously don't expect somebody else to clean up after you, do you? We'll do it later. No, Herbert. I'd prefer you did it now. You young things go off and enjoy yourselves. I'll look after it. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> now, what did you do that for? I don't mind doing the dishes. I quite like it. crashed here. So why were you in the balloon? Oh, that's a very long story. <laughs> yeah, but are you sure this is the way? Well, it's a shortcut. Shortcut to where? Well, maybe I haven't exactly been this way before, but... Well, perhaps we should find some other way. We can get across this log. I don't like the look of it. Get in. Are you saying you're scared? Oh, no, not at all. I just don't see there's any reason to be foolhardy. After all, we should be taking care of our guests. Don't let us stop you. Right. <clears throat> Look, Herbert, let's be sensible. We can cross down there. <sighs> Coming? Oh, look, a joust, the Knights of the Lost Island. Fighting for the honor of their damsels. All right. <laughs> Go, Gideon. Go, Herbert. <laughs> Sailmate? Oh no, you're going for a swim. Oh. 
We'll see about that. Uh, are you all right? Uh, yes, but fine. <laughs> Could there be quicksand on the bottom? Hardly quicksand, old boy. I feel the result may be the same. Uh, we're gonna need their help. Oh, well, go on then. Call out. You call out. Together then. On three. One. Two. Three. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Well, call out then. Well, you got us into this mess. You got us out. All right. One, two, three. Ladies! Excuse me! Help! Excuse me! We need your help. We're stuck. Find something to pull us out. Anything. Uh, uh, a vine. Long stick. Anything. Quickly! Get in. I think I'm sinking. Keep still. I think you'll sink faster if you wriggle. I was beginning to accept dying on this island. I never have believed it would be like this. I'm sorry. This was my fault. No more so than mine. Well, it's been a pleasure knowing you, Gideon. <laughs> you too, Herbert. Help! Hurry! This is ridiculous. Jane, quick! Quickly, take off your skirt. What? What are you doing? Just do it! We can make a rope. Quick, Jane. It's not too thin. is to lie on your back as if you're trying to float. We can't move. There's no point in trying to force it. You've got to relax. Now, if you put your head under, then your feet should come up. you got to be joking. I'm not putting my head under. There's no other way. Now, once you're floating on your back, you can pull yourself along on the rope. Head under and float. and do it. I can't! Say thank you, madam. Would only scratch the surface of my gratitude. I am in your debt. I'll remember that. <laughs> you know, it may not be easy to see now, but I think the arrival of these two young women could turn out to be very important for us. What are you talking about? Well, 
Herbert's been in despair about our situation. He was willing to risk his life to get off this island. And now? Now we may find it easier to stay, if it is our fate, to spend the rest of our days here. Isn't it better for him not to have to do it alone? Surely he's entitled to that much happiness. I know you're right, but not with her. She's... I don't know, she's just... We should at least take the time to get to know them better. And consider what they may have been through. A pirate ship is hardly a finishing school. <laughs> well, I'm sure they've got their good qualities. I can explain. Get out. All right, all right! And stay out! You can explain, can you? This had better be good. Feisty little thing, isn't she? Hmm. It's all right. You told me what you did. Thank you. Look, they, uh, they're not very fashionable, but they might keep you warm. Thank you. We seem to have got off to a bad start, don't we? So we might be spending a lot of time together. Do you think we could start again? It's all right, relax. War's over. It is? Well, if there's going to be six of us here, we better make some changes. Create some sleeping areas with decent partitions. We should try and brighten up the place a little. Well, it's always seemed a bit depressing in here, hasn't it? Indeed. Right, come on then. Ooh. Look, we can use this as a tablecloth. Oh, let's look at that one. I've forgotten how much I miss female company. I don't know, men can be so... insensitive? Selfish? Domineering. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the new couch. Well, where do you want it? Oh, well, there's fine. No? Well, I'm not sure. Priscilla, what do you think? Mm, I don't know. I know what's bothering me. If we have it there, the afternoon sun will get straight in our eyes. Do you mind a suggestion? No, please. Well, if we have it there, we still have the illumination, but without the direct sunlight. That's better. <laughs> <sighs> but isn't that where the new cabinet's going? Perhaps we could concern ourselves with a new cabinet when it's built. I suppose. All right, then. Oh, it's, it's not very comfortable. Mm. Priscilla's right. Do you know what this needs? It needs cushions. Cushions? Yes, I suppose you're right, but um, I'm not really sure how we'd go about making it. It's all right, Gideon. Plenty of material left in the chest. Oh, and then we could stuff them with dry leaves or feathers. Ooh. Gideon. You could find us some feathers, couldn't you? Feathers? Ah, uh, yes, of course I could. Wouldn't mind. Oh, no, no, no. No trouble at all. A bit. What? Come along.
This is ridiculous. Well, what other choice do we have? Hello, girls. Hello. Here we are. Oh, dear. They got away. Well, I suppose we shall just have to settle for dry leaves, shan't we? They're not going to like this. Herbert, I am rapidly forming the opinion that I don't care what they like or dislike. Well, I suppose so. If that's the best you could do. Yes, there's a darn shame about those ducks. Hmm. A shame indeed. Morning, everyone. Oh, good morning, Captain Harding. Mm, how terribly thoughtful of you. You know, it's the little touches that make a house a home. You're absolutely right. Flowers on the table, curtains on the windows, cushions on the couch. You know, what I thought would make those cushions even better? Feathers. Right. That is it. What? For goodness sake, listen to yourself, man. What did I say? Can't you see what's happening here? Look at us. They've got Herbert and I running around like a pair of pack mules. And you, you're collecting flowers. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to do that? <laughs> well, that was uncalled for. Kitty's always been a bit sensitive. I'll go have a chat with him. Are you sure you don't mind? No, not at all. I'll come with you. Good luck. Why is that? You got some socks need darning, have you? Maybe you could leave Gideon and me alone for a while. Right. Ah, see you back at Granite House. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, what's bothering you? What? You can tell me. I'm a good listener. I thought I'd made myself quite clear. Oh, I heard what you said. But that's not really the problem, is it? It's what happened at the quicksand. Well, yes. Quite frankly, I'm beginning to regret having accepted your help. Really? Well, I'm sorry that the burden of not dying has placed such a strain on you. Yes, I am in your debt for having saved my life. But you've been treating me like a servant ever since. Instead of keeping my place and acting like a servant of yours. What? Well, you can forget that, Mr. Spillett. And to be perfectly frank, I think you make a much better servant than I would. Oh, my, my, my. Don't we have a high opinion of ourselves? Apparently we do. You know, for a while, I thought there may be a chance that you're not the fool you appear to be. I am not such a fool, Jane that I can't recognize a cheap opportunist when I see one. I thought we might become friends, seeing as we may be spending the rest of our lives here together. But let me tell you something. I wouldn't end up with you if you were the last man on Earth. And if I had my way right now, I would toss you right back into that quicksand and leave you there. Well, that went rather well, didn't it? I suppose Gideon's right. Things have changed around here, haven't they? Yes, they have. I wouldn't have it any other way. You sure, Cyrus? Yes. There are possibilities here, new life. Don't worry. Gideon will change his tune. I hope so. Oh, no, not so fast. I 
I should talk to him, Cyrus. He'll be all right. It's all right. You have nothing to fear from me. Who are you? Friend. <laughs> How would you like to get off this island and make yourself a very rich woman? You need proof. All right. How about this? Advance payment. There are more, but you'll have to earn them. So who do you want me to kill? You didn't know about them, did you? I did. They've been through a lot together and have become quite close. So what's the matter then? Well, just seeing them kissing like that. <laughs> Why? Hasn't Joanna ever caught you kissing someone? Well, no. What about girlfriends? I haven't exactly had many girlfriends. But you've kissed a girl before, right? Oh, dear. You haven't, have you? Come on. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Here. Herbert, would you like to kiss me? <laughs> Jacob! I'd say you're done for. Why not? It's not his fault. I thought you were dead. Why aren't you dead? What you might call a timely accident, eh, Jake? You could call it that. The captain's time was up, that's for sure. It's the middle of the battle. Bullets and cannonballs flying all over the place. Jake here sneaks up behind the captain, fixing to do him in. I'm right behind the captain. Dagger at the ready. Next thing you know, there's a huge explosion and the naval frigate just blows up. Must have taken a direct hit on the ammunition magazine. Something like that. When I come to, there's the captain dead as a fence post. Fell onto my dagger. Come on, Jake. Time we're moving on. Jacob, don't! If you kill this boy, then you and I will never be together. What's he to you? Nothing, but he's done nothing that he deserves to die for. Let him go! I can't do that. It wouldn't be right. If you want me, Jacob, then you don't have a choice. A duel. I could go along with that. Priscilla? I don't have a pistol. Here. I'll even show you how it works. Call it, Zachary. Coconut on the ground. 30 degrees starboard. What's happened? It's Gideon. I was trying to patch things up with him. He turned on me. He threatened me and attacked me. And I had to run for my life. The man's a monster. Gideon. I was a fool not to see him for what he is. You will protect me, won't you, Cyrus? I assure you, you're in no danger. D. 
indeed. What do you think you're doing? Well, if I want to kiss him, all righty, well, kiss him, all right. What business is it of yours, anyway? I thought you were the grieving widow. How dare you? Listen, Joanna. When I want something, I get it. Understand? Every time. So you better get used to it, because nothing is going to stop me. Nothing. He's yours. Zachary! I thought you were dead. Oh, you did, did you? Friends of theirs. They want me to fight a duel. What? The woman was gonna kill me right there on the spot, but Priscilla stopped him. Why was he gonna kill you? They saw me and Priscilla kissing. I can't explain now, but there's a lot more of these where this came from. Surely you don't expect him to fight a duel? Mother. Well, there's nothing more touching than the mother's love for her son. This is his chance for him to make a man of himself, Mother. And what will it make of you? Shooting down a young lad who's never fired a pistol before in his life. Speak one more word to me in that vein, sir, and you'll make a dead man of yourself. Then let's get on with it. But surely, whoever you are, you're not such a coward. Ah! Harding! Stay where you are. Tie her up. Him too. But with... Find something. This is barbaric, sir. You'll not do it. Oh, really? What if I make it more interesting? If the boy wins, I'll take him off the island with me. Look what I found. After all, we'll need another sailor if we lose this one. And if the boy loses? He loses? What do you mean? You're going to make it more interesting. Well, if he loses, we'll kill them all. <laughs> Getting this a chance off the island. Listen to yourself. What chance have you got? Herbert, if you fight this duel, you'll die. And if I don't, we all die. Besides, getting killed is almost preferable to staying here forever. Where are you going? Even an old sea dog like you should have more decency than to ask. I may be sorry, but I have something to say to you. Well, I don't want to hear it. Whatever happens, don't let Herbert get on the ship. He won't last a week with that crew. You think he'll be alive after this? Who knows? But if he is, don't let him come with us. They'll kill him for sure. Gentlemen, the duelists will stand back to back, take five paces to the count, turn and fire. Are there any questions? Yes. Who'll do the count? You can't, you're Jacob's second. I will. Why not? Agreed.
Gentlemen, to your places, please. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> Priscilla, get out of the way! You were really going to do it, weren't you? I am going to do it. Get out of the way. Why? What for? I know what I needed to know. You would have fought to the death for me. Now I know you're a man I can count on. We made a bargain, now they die. If there's any killing, Jacob, I'll change my mind about you. What about me? What about you? I was prepared to die. No, you were going to die. There's a big difference. You've done this to save my life, haven't you? I don't care about you. What? I know what I have with Jacob. What would I have with you? <laughs> Do you honestly think I'd be prepared to spend the rest of my days here on this island with you? Well, thank you anyway. <laughs> you did well, boy, standing firm at the moment of truth. So I'll make an offer to you, but only to you. You can come along with us. Think carefully about it, Herbert. Good luck to you if you choose to go. This is your chance, Herbert. No, I won't have this. I've lost your father. I can't lose you too. <laughs> well, boy? You have the captain. I'll bring back help. Herbert, they'll kill you. <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> Please. Fine. You were right about him, Jake. Mama's boy. Ah, you're Us. It wouldn't have lasted long. So did you get it? Easy money. Yeah, don't mind standing between two men with loaded guns to earn it. <laughs> you would have let him go. <laughs> <laughs> 